Okay guys, we're back. Sorry about that. I um, had to do some stuff on the computer and I thought it wouldn't really be too interesting if you just watched me wander around aimlessly until I found this place again. <laughs> we're actually looking for the last three um, earwax beans. I am not too sure where they would be. If I remember correctly, I think we went through here. Wait, no, we can do this again and get more points, can we? Can we get more points by doing this again? No, we can't get points. <laughs> God damn it, it's because we've already done it and yeah. Okay. Alright, um. Okay, I know they're not in there because they locked that place off. Although this game does have a tendency of making it so you can't get stuff um, after you've already missed it. Can we go through the door up here? Actually, I remember, did I get the bean? Yeah, I did get the beans up on that door. And this thing's locked as well. I'm curious where these beans would be, though. Surely I can still get them. What did we do after that? No, after that, we went over to get Hagrid, though, didn't we? So can I still get these beans? I hope I can still get these beans. If I can't, then I'm going to be sad, because then I've locked myself out of 100%. Maybe we'll find him in here. I doubt it. But you never know. Yep, yeah, yeah, just walk into the chair, Harry. <laughs> I wonder if I can phase through this. Um. Hello, Harry. Still haven't managed to collect the yellow earwax every flavour beans. Give us the beans, and we'll tell you the password to the portrait of the old posh baron. George and I have left something behind the portrait that you might find very handy. Now well, there was a bean right there floating in midair. Could I just take that one and do that three times? Please keep the common room tidy. Uh, okay. Um. God, I have no idea where this would be. Would it be in the area where the if we did snake and shit, I don't know. Oh, uh, no idea. Might be up here. Oh, there's two doors. Does it tell you where you're going? Upper castle. Great foyer. We're gonna check the great foyer. Actually, on top of that, I don't even know where we have to go plot-wise. <laughs> I, I literally just have no idea where to go in terms of plot. Can I open this? What's behind here? I know originally there was probably a card here. But you know, may as well check in case I missed a bean or something. Knowing me, I'd probably do that. Oh, actually, yeah, obviously knowing me, because I've obviously missed three beans. But, um... Huh. There's this thing. Oh, this is the Ravenclaw minigame, wasn't it? I think... One minute. Let's use this door. Wait a minute. Wait, there's three, and there's more than three here. That is strange. Why? So you can collect... Oh, so you can collect more than there is in the game. And then if I go and collect these, it's not gonna... Oh, the counter, the counter's not going up. That's actually pretty good. I like that um, level of design, actually. Adding more beans than there is. Because there's a chance that you could have missed them in the locked rooms. And I think that's very good design. It's like that some games actually should, you know, check up on. Um, we're gonna go down here, do we? Yeah. Like, um, Shadow the Hedgehog and, um, some levels in Sonic Heroes. Um, y you have it so there's, like, you have to kill, like, a certain amount of enemies on a level, and they only, like, say you have to put, like, fi kill 50 enemies, yeah, they would only put 50 enemies in the level, and it's just like, you know, that, that that's somewhat of bad design, and I don't really like that. I mean, I don't mind it so much in Heroes, mainly because I like that game, but, um, <laughs> that's just kind of my opinion there. You also have, um, 
Something that I find to be very good design, but at the same time very bad design, is um, Ocarina of Time when you get the sculptures. Thanks for the earwax flavor beans. The password for the portrait of the old posh baron is Fizzy Pop. Hope you find the portrait. It'll be worth it. See you around. Ah, shit. We need to find the portrait, don't we? Uh, where's the portrait? <laughs> I have no idea where the portrait is. Um, but yeah, what I was saying is, um, the gold sculpture is in the Ocarina of Time. You, there's a hundred in the game. You only need fifty to get the heart piece. However, if you're going for a complete one hundred percent for some reason, which is what I might actually do, the you have to find every single one because there's only a hundred in the game. So yeah, um, I doubt it's going to be in it. Wait a minute, there was, there was one guy in the, um, the main room of the castle. You go, um, I think it's to the, one of the doors on the left. Might be the f right one, this one here. I think this is the person we need to talk to. Although I'm really not sure. Well done, ah, yes. Sir. That's the correct password. Let's see if I can get these old hinges working. Now they say this is going to help us, so I wonder what it is, because this sounds like it's going to be pretty good. Oh. It's a broomstick. Nimbus 2000. Oh, wow. Huh. It's pretty nifty. I that th Again, this is one of the items that I just never knew it was here because I just didn't know. But, um, yeah. That, that's pretty cool. Uh. Alright, um, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go to a save point, which I believe there was one around here. Actually, no, there was one here, I think. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly BRB. You probably, you, you guys won't even notice it because I'm just going to jump cut. But yeah, the sign I want to do, plus I want to quickly read through the um, last things that I'm missing again. Because, you know, I need to refresh my mind. So yeah, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um... I'm actually really stupid. That um Quidditch pitch um one I was looking for, the one uh, the one we sp sp find a secret room. I actually already have that one, so no need to worry about that. The ones I'm missing is three at Gringotts, so I'm probably gonna save somewhere in Gringotts if you can to make sure that I definitely get them. Um, there's one um that you need to get after you see Peeves. Um, and he, I think he still, it says he steals a parcel. And the other one was, um, I don't know, where do I need to go now? I have no idea where I need to go now. Um, uh, what was the other one? <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> Uh, let me see. Oh, Forbidden Forest. That was it. Yeah. So there's one of the Forbidden Forests that I need as well. I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> I'm just gonna aimlessly walk around until I find out what I have to do. So I should mention that Quidditch game that we saw earlier, like the bonus thing. It that that is actually um really really fun. I do really like the Quidditch bonus game. I remember when I completed um both this game and the second one, that would be like the thing I'd do the most. I think especially with this one. I think I'm in the right place. Because I haven't seen this place before, so Yeah. That didn't take too long. And I've got these two over here. Let's go talk to them. Come to sample the rare delights of the upper castle, eh? Just watch out for Filch and his cat, Mrs. Norris. Anyway, 
We'll trade the portrait password for, oh, say, red every flavour beans? Chilli powder flavour. Hot as blazes. Blaze the cat, maybe? <laughs> well, at least all these other doors are locked, so I know which way to go first. Although I saw something twinkle, I think. No, that's just graphical glitch. <laughs> Transfiguration class. Oh, I remember this. We see that one lady. I can't. Is it Professor McGonagall? I think her name's that. If this is the right game, anyway, because I think. Oh shit! Gonna have to collect these now. Oh dear. Yeah, this might not go well. Uh, so used to the good control of Zelda. <laughs> yeah, as I said um, a few parts ago, the control isn't as good as I remember. Oh shit, I want that bean. I'm gonna run late, aren't I? Well, if it makes me miss these and I can't get them ever again, then I might just go back to my last save point. I might have to actually do that. Wow. Can I go through that? No, I can't go through that door back there. Why am I missing that bean? Wait a minute, so you can just... Oh, I thought you'd just warp the... Okay. I believe they actually, um... I believe you just get extra house points for being it faster. Which, um... I don't think that is, um... The main part of 100%. Although I actually think that... Eventually, um... If you just get 100% anyway, you might just get... The amount that you need for house points. I'm not too sure. All I know is I think it is a little bit lenient. It definitely is a little more lenient in the second game. Yeah, I did that on purpose to check if there's anything down here, by the way. <laughs> That's why I was turning the camera. Gonagall's gonna be like a bitch at me, isn't she? She's gonna be like, why are you late, Miss Potter? And I'll be like... Late for my lesson. Five points from Gryffindor. I'm sorry. <laughs> Would you like to try again? Yeah, sure. That's cool. Okay. She better not take away five more points from me, though, if I fail. <laughs> Which, oh, from that, it looked like I did pretty well there. I think they do expect you to fail a couple of times, though, because this is actually quite short. See, look, we're almost there already. Join us, Harry. We're about to start the transfiguration lesson. Okay. I'm not sure what happens if you press no there. I think it would be pretty hilarious if you kicked her out of the classroom. But uh, yeah, that probably won't be the case. Is the most complex and dangerous magic you'll learn at Hogwarts. Anyone messing around in my class will leave and not come back. You have been warned. Watch my wand move around the screen, and press the symbol button it points to. Complete each sequence three times to learn the transfiguration spell, Abbey Falls. Get ready. Okay. Yeah, I was actually, um, thinking in my head there. <laughs> um, because I have, obviously haven't seen Harry Potter in ages. I don't remember when she said transfiguration, the first thing I thought of was Naruto sexy jutsu. <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're gonna transform into like naked women with clouds going around them. Cause th th that, that's the best. <laughs> totally. I have no idea what order this is going in. It seems... No, it doesn't seem random. I'm kind of picking off the pattern. I actually believe in Harry Potter 2, uh, you actually have to get 100% on these as part of 100%. Oh, do we have to keep going? <laughs> I don't know why, but I was initially expecting to hear a um, sound. 
as soon as this thing started. Because I actually remember that I used to foul that bit right at the beginning quite a lot. Because I wasn't expecting a third test, because I believe most of them only have um, three tests. Perfect. Thank you. It is kind of nerve wracking, like talking and um, pressing the buttons at the same time. Well done, class. Because you feel like you're going to foul. Let's put the spell into practice. Harry Potter, follow me, please. Oh, so we're going to turn into the sexy jutsu first. Welcome, Sweet. Harry. 